What's up guys, we're here today to recap the iPhone 5 event that just happened around 1 o'clock Eastern Time. So, we're not going to go over like the trivial facts about everything they've sold and stuff that really doesn't matter. They're just kind of patting their own back, but we're going to go over the main new products that were released. We already made a video about the iPhone 5 specifically, but we're just going to try to keep this concise and go over all the new products. So we're going to start out with the iPhone 5. Uh, just head over to iPhone on their website. Um, so yeah, you got the all-new design. It's thinner, um, lighter, has a 4-inch screen, and ships with these new headphones. So more of the same with the 4-inch Retina. Uh, that obviously, it is an LTE. If it didn't, then I'm pretty sure the iPhone would be done as we know it. It also has better Wi-Fi antennas, and the back is all metal, so that... Um, leads to better signal reception. Uh, you got the A6 chip, so they skipped over the A5X and went straight to the A6, which has two times faster graphics and two times faster CPU. Um, obviously, they upgraded the camera lens a little bit. They renamed it to EyeSight. It's still 8 megapixel, but they apparently upgraded the optics in some way, like used new materials. It's like a, some type of crystal lens or something. And then it all, they also added the panoramic picture mode, which you can take, like, you can, like, sweep across a landscape and take, a, like, a wide frame picture. And uh, that's about it for the hardware. Obviously, it's running iOS 6, which really isn't that big of an upgrade. I think iOS 5 is a bigger one, but it has um, its own maps thing. Gone is Google Maps. Now they have... Apple Maps with turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and I think it's called Helicopter View, where you can see the major uh, landmarks and such. And Siri got a new upgrade. They're really trying to push the uh, movie search feature, which uh, doesn't really have much use, but it's cool. Oh, and you can now launch applications with Siri, which is kind of cool, I guess. Yeah, just other minor upgrades. Uh, overall, it's it's a pretty good. It's one of the bigger upgrades that the iPhone has seen. Um, pricing, $199 for the 16 $299 for 32 $399 for 64 What you would expect. Um, Pre-orders start the 14th and it ships the 21st. And it comes in these two colors here, white and silver and black and slate, which I think look pretty good, if not better than the iPhone 4S and 4. Alright, so that's about it for the iPhone 5. We're going to move over to iPod, that was the next big thing. And the last big thing, really. So they upgraded the iPod Touch, as you can see here. It comes in five different colors. Yellow, red, white, blue, and gray. Um, I'm not... I'm a, I'm a fan of all the upgrades that it comes with. But I'm not a fan of the price and how they make you buy it. You have to get a 32 gigabyte, which costs $299. And then they still sell the four, which is sixteen gigabytes for two hundred dollars. So I mean that that's kind of deterring me from wanting to buy it. Um, it has basically all the features of the iPhone five as far as the display goes. It has I believe it has the iPhone four's camera, so it has a five megapixel back camera eyesight and a. Uh, Guessing no, yeah, they put the 720p uh, eyesight on the front, so we got is HD. it 1.2 megapixels? Yeah, it's the same one that's on the iPhone, the new one. Okay, uh, also has panorama a mode, it has flash, which is really nice. Face so detection. Gonna, I love using my flashlight app on my. And it's gonna have iOS 6 and Siri, which is also really nice. And it comes with the new ear pods, and the Apple A4 chip. A5. Oh uh, yeah, that's our A5. That's um, the one that's in the uh, the 4s. So yeah, it looks pretty nice. And um, then they also decided to upgrade the iPod Nano, um, which is the other major big thing that they updated because the iPod Shuffle, they just changed the colors in because they love to do that and call it an update. Um, but basically, it's what I like to look at the iPod Nano is, is it's almost like taking two of the sixth generation iPod Nanos and like gluing them together. So you basically have a 2.5 inch multi-touch display uh, with a small home button. It's like pretty much a mini iPod touch. Uh, 
but it doesn't have any app support, so no app store, no Wi-Fi. It does have um, radio. Basically, it's not support. It doesn't have any app support. It doesn't have Wi-Fi, um, but it does have the DVR function on the radio, which is pretty cool. You can pause and rewind on the radio, and uh, it comes in an array of different colors because it's really important what color your iPod Nano is. Um, but obviously. They change it a lot, and it's going to be more usable. But still, it's it's really not anything. It also has lightning, two point five inch screen. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a pretty compelling product. I believe it's one forty nine for sixteen gig, which yeah. is a good amount of storage. There's not really a whole lot you can do with it other than listening to music, but it's a good workout buddy, I guess you could call it. And now you could watch movies on it a little more easily. Like if you were wanting to go on like a trip and watch movies on it, it has a slightly larger display, which is nice. So here are all the colors. And they all, uh, the iPod Touch and the Nano, and I believe the Shuffle, all are product red, so you can give a little money to, I don't know what that, what does that even support? <laughs> AIDS in Africa? Uh, yeah. That so looks that's, sick though, I kind of want that. Yeah. Yeah, so that's about all the new products that they released, along with iOS 6. So it was a pretty good event, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, we're gonna probably we're gonna at least be getting the iPhone 5. So check our channel out for that review and it will be the best. That. I promise you.